Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft! My name is Twitch here, and we are playing on my publicly available server, and I have got the most ridiculous of draw distances on the go right now. We're about a hundred chunks away from spawn, and we can see over there some wonders. We've got Lake Pizzazz, where I live, over on this side, uh, I believe through there. That is Mimi's house, and I live... Oh, you can see my water thing, and one of the UFOs sticking over there. Uh, we've got the entrance to Lake Pizzazz with uh, right there, Turtle Island over there and just off in the distance we can see Miss Align's uh, place coming into render that is beautiful but today I have been going through and putting marker boys down oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to do it because I want to show you what I've been doing every 12 chunks let me go to my video settings and bring this all the way down it kind it, it's kind of painful to do this now but from here I can press left and right and get exactly 12 chunks it's the server's default render distance and it's a lot less it has to be said it is a, a super lot less but what i've been doing is putting these yellow orange sorry marker boys down every 12 chunks or so let me just get my materials out of here i've been going around with lily pad ochre frog lights white concrete orange concrete and a bunch of acacia fences and these have been my materials of choice for this job uh, i have been flying away was that loud uh, i'm not sure exactly how loud that was uh getting to about the right distance in this case it's around about here uh, and then finding a x equals zero because this is the north path this is the route that we that i have been taking to go north there are a great deal of things out to the north um it takes us past lake pizzazz and land striders place we've got the uh, the guardian farm just over here let me uh, show this over this way uh, i also want to put a few materials down we start by putting uh, three orange on the underside here then we go one of these ochre frog lights up and then one two three four that's the first corner of our uh, navigation boy here and if we could go along and just throw these other blocks down they are quite ooh, as long as i don't pl put the blocks in the wrong place they're quite quick to put together uh, i was kind of hoping they'd be a little bit quicker than this whilst i was talking but i'm also, not wearing my hat, so I'm drowning quicker than I would normally. Ah, uh, if we come up and get a bit of a breath, I'm going to break this and cut. To me coming down here and putting some more orange along the bottom. And just from that shape alone, I feel like we've got ourselves a nice little navigation marker. But we're not done. Oh, no, no, no. If I come up the top here, uh, I also carry a bunch of fences. If we go one, two, three, four place down a block in the middle you can then jump up onto this fence and because i'm half a block up when i jump up and place the fence it uh, allows me to jump the full block up that we need to be able to make our way up through the middle two on top and that's a navigation marker i i feel like that's a a good thing to show you might be asking where is this actually going well we're going towards today's uh, actual project let me get my render distance back up to at least 50 uh we've got the creeper farm on the side there is so much so much to see on this northern path that it's one of the reasons i am putting down the markers as i am but coming in to our view range over here we've got today's real mission uh, I want to make an ice boat rank, uh, ice boat race course. I don't know what we're calling this. Uh, it's a track. Anyway, uh, if I come down and show you this map, uh, we've got like a before and after. At the moment, uh, or rather, when I first found this place, we had water everywhere and big old open uh, spaces of ocean. Let's get my spyglass out. There, There is no way to make it from here around back down to here but we've gone through we've we've placed down bits of ice we've made ourselves a nice little way through here uh forest and shrubbery helped me out amazingly well on a stream that we had this week uh, we've gone through and made this much more navigable uh let us i don't have one on me but let us take a boat out and around i believe there should be one exactly here beautiful uh let's Oh, hello. How are you doing? Let's get ourselves in F5 here. I really don't like having my clothes on when I'm doing the video. Uh, so we would start... Wait, let, let, let's go around this way. Okay, when I say I'm round the corner, I truly mean I am just round the corner. You can see the creeper farm over there. But we can have like some sort of start line across here, have a, a gate or some slabs that come up, and like, beep, 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 and off you go. Uh, we can definitely get a, a maybe a traffic-like system set up 
up or something like that. Come into a first rather big windy little corner here, coming into an S bend at the end. You've got to steer hard to not crash into that drift, and then we've got another uh, diagonal straightaway here, so we can come along and get ourselves a lot of speed. You can see that I've been putting down markers around the outside to show where we can and can't go, and unfortunately that didn't load up very well, but it would show you that we turn around uh, this way. Uh, Forrest came up with this great idea of you don't need to completely fill up the uh, the river for it to be navigable. Uh, indeed, you can put all sorts of these patterns down, and because your boat is a two by do two, it will float right over the top. I should have come around and loaded up all of these chunks beforehand. We're now entering what I call the water section. I'm I like it, but I feel like it needs a little bit of uh, of a tweak, of a little bit of a test run and make a little bit better. Uh, a flash of a tunnel, if you cl uh, closed your eyes for half a second, you would have missed it. Uh, but that tunnel had to be hand built. Uh, then we come through to the open ocean and by taking a few drift corners through here, trying your best to not be a pinball and bounce off of the ice spikes. We've got ourselves a course. This is back at the beginning uh, and uh, that that's, that's really cool. That's that is a, a, an awesome little course, but it's just the bare bones of a course. There is more to a racetrack than oh wait, just the track. I've already alluded to the fact that I would like a start mechanism here. Oh, it's really, really quite jarring coming into a bit of snow like that. Uh, I'd like a, a little push button or maybe like shoot it with your with your bow. Let me get my bow out and we'll like put a target block over there somewhere. Get some lights up above on a, a, a gantry. Beep, beep, beep. Some, obviously, note blocks in use have a, a, a gate that drops down and everyone can leave at the same time. I'd also feel like we need some sort of grandstand up on this area over here. I've been playing with a few designs. Obviously, I like to build things futuristic and sci-fi. Uh, so if we could do that up there, that would be good. And as far as I can tell, that just means we throw some neons on there. Why am I not... Fly, because I took my wings off, of course. Uh, out on the ice, I feel like we can make... You know, you know, in um, in Star Wars, you've got the sand peoples that live around the outside of the pod racing. Maybe we could do something similar here, where on the top of the icebergs we have... I mean, nothing's going to actually shoot unless we bring a gas... No, 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 I don't want to bring a gas into an ice rink. This That would be uh, pretty terrible. It would be a one-time only device. Uh, and the other thing that I really want to do is build something that looks a little bit better in this tunnel because the, whilst the, uh, the, the smooth stone is looking nice, I think it could be better. I think we achieved looking better over there. You can see we've got a nice blackstone tunnel in place. Also a little bit of advertisement on the go up above there. Possibly like a ski holiday, something like that. Uh, we've tamed the water somewhat. I've put some holes through the ice, then put some uh, water panes in there. Uh, and that managed to hold it back. Not quite as gracefully as I would have liked. But, you know, it, it, it's looking okay. Uh, we put this tunnel together on a stream. A few people came along and shared ideas. Uh, ZTech, hey, how you doing, buddy? He uh, suggested that we start with wide spacing lights and then come in with closer ones at the end so that when we're going through, let's let's go back and uh, go take a proper approach at it, so that when we're going through here, uh, it feels like you're speeding up. Uh, that was nice. Uh, Forrest went around, put a few track markings in. That was very helpful. Uh, I've also gone around and put some walls in places uh, just to try and help guide people around in the more, most confusing areas. I've kind of left this one a bit ambiguous over here because I, I feel like just navigating from one corner to the other should be okay. And like you'd have to turn all, almost all the way round to go down the only confusing bit, which don't get me wrong, I'm sure someone will manage. That, that's uh, that's that's almost a uh, given. Uh, so round at the front, we, we've got ourselves some pit lanes now. Uh, I've, I've gone and... Um, Marked it off from the uh, the rest of the course over here. I suppose I should have carried on past the start line, so we got a bit of a merge area, uh, but that that's fine. We got some uh, some open stalls for anybody who wants to come along and start their own teams up. Uh, but over here we've got uh, the purple grape. 
uh, I th this is my 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 little crew area over here. We got live at the track side. This has gone wrong somewhere. Uh, of course, the calendar's very important. Uh, we've got forest and shrubbery over. Here. I can't. Why can't I get over this? <laughs> forest and shrubbery over here. Uh, they were the ones to suggest the beds for like Le Mans 24 hours kind of thing. But also, I mean, let, let's be honest. The uh, the Minecraft day is not long. There's a reason I've got the clock in my off hand at the moment. So being able to reset the day is cool. Uh, I've done a few cool little details in here that I, I think are pretty funky. Uh, I'm not sure what the what the, the grindstone's for, but it's really, really, really helpful when I'm building stuff. Uh, down at the very end, I, exp I intend this one to be a forever abandoned one. I want to make it out like it's, or you know, like an abandoned, haunted, almost ghostly one, some, something that the people don't don't use through superstition. I think I think that would be cool, something fun. Have I not got these in? Like, wait. I put that last one in the wrong spot. I put that. I put the last one in the wrong spot. Anyway, over here, I intend this area to be some sort of like control room slash TV room, something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but there's a couple of big windows at the end of the pits lane. But the uh, the real thing we should be showing off here is underneath the floor. Uh, let's just play it through as we go. Random time, ah oh, man, the, the random time was a, a real pain to actually make happen. Uh, so, so what have we got going here? Uh, so we've got a torch that's controlling another torch, but this second torch will control the first one when it turns off. So if we were to upset this system somehow, I don't know, by taking a, a repeater signal into the side, it would turn this torch off turning this torch on, flipping the state. So this is like a little one-bit memory cell. It, it remembers a yes or a no, and it's responsible for putting the gate up. You can see that the torch is off and the torch is on, and at the end of the cycle, they swap back over. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, so w when we hit the target block, two things happen. First, the gate's Get, get sent up uh, with that little one bit me memory cell there uh, and then note blocks happen boop 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 uh, and then after that I really wanted to take the signal from somewhere else but for compactness sake at the end of that I could put a random number generator uh, this works off having a full signal and then the comparators allow these droppers to take a little bit off each time each one's got Let's go under. I can't get in the hole. Uh, each one's got four block, uh, four items, and then a potion, four stackables, and an unstackable potion of speed. Of course, where did the ice go? Well, in the time it took me to get back up and grab a boat, it started raining. But the whole point of this is you can now shoot it on the way past and it will start up and you can listen. Uh, and the random time is so you can't just get a muscle memory for the amount of time it takes. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, probably invisible in the snow now. But I want to get a grandstand area up and going. You can see I've been marking out some basic shapes here. When I first put the stone on top of this tree and went, mm, yes, this is a good view. Look, we can even see around the corner. I was a little bit worried that it was just going to be too, too much. Like, too, too much. It's, ve it's very high off the ground. Uh, 12, 13 blocks off the ground. But I put some stairways in. And I think, actually, it's going to fit the, the scale of everything that we've got going on over here. So it should be fine. I'm going to put a third stairway in over there. Remove this dirt, obviously. Um, seating up the middle here. It's going to be some weird tiered affair with uh, some... Some stairway stairs running up uh, and I think we the players like the the Minecraft players are gonna ooh, ooh, back of my head are gonna stand on the roof of the building uh, and to get to get that that really good view Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dice Wine Hunter, the pub down at Spawn City. Here we have a Wise and Death Ender fighting out over a clay pot, a flower pot. I didn't really get which one it was. They came to me for a judgment, and as we couldn't cut it in half, I proclaimed that a fight to the death must there happen. And indeed, Death Ender triumphs. I'm actually cursed. I am actually cursed. We have once again updated the server. We've gone the 1.20.5, the Dogadillo update, I believe people are calling it. And uh, all my efficiency and unbreaking have been stripped out from my stuff. I've lost the sharpness from my tool. The sharpness and looting from my sword, no less. Uh, I've lost efficiency and unbreaking from just about everything, as I say. But more importantly, look what they did to my Boza. 
everything's got it's still got nine components who knows what those nine components are actually doing but the update it 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 did me dirty once again and now i, I don't think i'm ever going to be able to get over this i mean uh, there, oh, there are so many books i need to go get now before i can finish up what we're doing here but i do oh, i want to show you oh, what we're doing here let me just change my field of view back to normal uh, i have uh, pretty much finished the grandstand here i'd like to put another doorway uh, oh, swung too far over here, but that that's that's going to be a job for another day. Uh, the stairs have pretty much oxidized as much as I want, and before we kind of wrap up, there is one more thing that I want to do, and that is to work on this little tunnelway under here. Gonna have to fix all my tools to make this work. Oh, there's a little bit of sand there. Don't let it be uh, be lost to the, the ages. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this tunnel. I don't know how I'm going to put an entrance on it. I don't know how I'm going to make it stand out. I don't know how I'm going to not die from that creeper. I don't have my bow. Uh, it's like right here. This is probably... Look, watch, watch this. Without any enchantments, it's going to take like three of these. I can't... I can't... I can't live like this. I cannot live like this. Uh, let's try and top up my pickaxe. Without unbreaking, my pickaxe breaks so incredibly quickly. Uh, Forrest made the suggestion of having the tunnel underneath be exposed to the... Um, to the water uh well, I mean, he, he said the glass. Now that I've said exposed to the water, suddenly I'm feeling like I've not done this right. But we're, we're going to go with the glass. Uh, I think we're going to go with the light blue motif. It's a bit hard to do ice way without actually just putting ice everywhere. But this tunnel comes round and it comes up into the open under here. I'm sure I'm about to get jumped, but we've got the big reveal of the grandstand. Uh, that's a stray. That's fine. I'm only traveling slow. It's not a problem. Uh, we've got a stairway going going down here and the next thing I need to do is to uh, transfer the second map Oh, the update woes, my friends. They never, never end. I've got a little bit of a story to tell you before we go around and do a tour of what we've done here. The first thing I need to do, let's just slam all of this stuff down and into here. Uh, we run some multi-world, uh, we run some parallel worlds on this server. We use the universe spigot plugin. Uh, it... Uh, makes a nice nice bunch of uh, alternate realities for us and one, one of the ones that we've got is the creative world i go out there quite often to uh to, to, to test stuff in fact let's go let's go have a look you know it's a test world i put things together i've got a, i've got a police station here the, the the cgp uh we've got like the big big towers that i've been planning i've got stuff that i've never been able to use anywhere i've been, like trying to work on some different fonts you know some good good things have been going on here but one of the things you'll notice is that my inventory is it's completely separated from the regular overworld. You know, I don't don't have command blocks. You, in fact, you just watched me take all my stuff off of my character and put it in a shulker box. This 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 inventory is not the same as the overworld inventory. That's very important because I wouldn't want people taking stuff from the creative world to the overworld. Least of all myself. So could you imagine my horror when my inventory? I mean, this time it's not done it. I don't know why it did it that time, but my entire creative inventory came over with me. But it wasn't it wasn't just my inventory so that you know that lost all my equipment and stuff you know suddenly i've got a bunch of blocks that i was building with in creative so very 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 sad i'm like oh no i'm gonna have to go make some more equipment in fact what i did was i just treat i just cheated some stuff back the elytra the server at my shorts safety cheats helmet of woe uh, just whatever i could remember i didn't do my pickaxe by the looks of it whatever i could remember i i just kind of created it there on the spot because the server at my stuff i'm not not very pleased but you know what i'm really really not happy about my entire ender chest i would obviously the player file from the creative world somehow got transferred over to my overworld and I've never put stuff in my creative in end the chest because why would I? I've got access to the creative inventory I don't oh. I'm very shaken I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you can imagine thankfully because things like this have happened in the past I know the, pl the player data isn't sacred i i take took everything that was unreplaceable out of this but i have lost so much replaceable stuff so much replaceable stuff <laughs>
If I could get some thoughts and prayers in the comments, I'd be very grateful. Very grateful. This 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 really had like I'm I'm, I'm trying to play it up, but I'm I'm really quite shaken by it. Uh, anyway, we we got ourselves a new portal over here, and of course, like because it only happened a couple of days ago, I've not I've not had a backup since, and people have done stuff. And uh, anyway, th this is a terrible terrible place to have a Nether portal. Um, but it it it's it's on the main line that go it goes off to the witch farm, and that way's back to spawn. Uh, I've put a little safety backing to it. It it it's okay. There's another fortress over there. It's okay. You're not going to die when you use it. So I suppose that's pretty good. We'll we'll think about how we can make a nice uh, Nether portal. Um station over there i think uh, another thing that i want to do in the future we've got this pillager tower over here i want to surround it by ice i want to have boat sumo but not just regular boat sumo i want to have spicy boat sumo where the pillagers are coming after you at the same time i think that would be a cool uh did i show you the map room we've got a map room the map room needs a, a little bit of um je ne sais quoi because i really don't know what but it needs something a little bit better than what we've got here but we've got ourselves the before this is what it was like when we turned up we don't even have the dotted line going around we do have the chests i turned up and put the chests down that that was the thing that i did before i even made the maps uh but now this is how it looks now we've got um up at the top there you can see there's like some dashed lines to show where the tunnel is here let me show you got some concrete lines in the sky to mark out the tunnel. now i could lock the maps and remove the concrete but those maps are the ones that are going to get updated whenever we um do any more to the racetrack i don't know how much more there is to be done to the racetrack but there you know I, I definitely feel like there's more that we can do and at least we've got the spicy boat sumo ow that wasn't quite where i wanted to be to try and fit in there another thing that i've done archway to mark out the uh, the tunnel going underneath the the river here we've got the same on the other side okay, coming down it's quite clean it's quite sterile I, I feel like i need to do something more the dirt there doesn't doesn't really work but uh coming down it's probably we're probably just going to continue this trend up uh it's looking pretty nice though i put the ice in the ceiling so that we could uh, invoke the feeling of the ice way above uh, and then if we come back up door of safety it needs a needs a sign but we've got the door of safety we come back up with a similar motif showing you the way down and then we find ourselves back at the orange navigation boys where we started this here episode uh right now i'd like to leave you with uh, a couple of minutes of footage of oh no i didn't want the free cam thank you very much uh, a couple of minutes of footage of of me, Forest, and Shrubbery going around the ice track. The first shot goes off pretty well. I was very glad to actually hit that. Uh, as a group, we're not so big on the voice chat, so all you get here is a little bit of me commentating over the race. Uh, straight away, Forest and Shrubbery going very strongly into this corner. I assume that they had done a little bit of practice beforehand. I know they have been around for a few streams. Forest, of course, getting caught up on the S-Bend. The, hitting the snow is an absolute nightmare. Uh, you've either got, got to decide to carry on plowing on straight on forwards and try and get through it and hope that that doesn't lose you too much speed or back up off of the snow and try and turn around on the ice and again hope that doesn't lose you too much speed this course is actually really fun to take the the corners there's just the right amount of cornerage to to uh, make it quite a fun little activity shrubbery finding a little uh, uh, pull off area there managed to get onto the the grass same sort of situation as with the snow you've got to try and make a decision about whether you're going to plow on or try and go around one thing that I thought was great from this little lap nobody got absolutely stuck uh, there were a few uh, few issues with the steering as you can see here I was bouncing off walls shrubbery was bouncing off walls maybe we want to widen that area out a little bit more but I feel like it's actually pretty fine uh, we got caught up in the tunnel and as you can see there was a little bit of a problem with the server trying to figure out where we were there uh, I think we had collided server side but not client side and so it was uh, having a little bit of a stress out forest that has finished his lap but we are coming through pin what i'm coming to call pinball alley here and coming up on the final turn i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we are going to go try and do that ice sumo like i said and uh bring a little bit of glittery sparkle to this place but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye